Seems you've been involved in certain illegal activities. These were the new Americans, guys who came from bottom barrel nothingness to be able to support not only their families, but an entire community. This is their story. This is what happened. It began with discovering some newspaper articles that described an incident in December of 1930 at a bridge over a creek called Magadie Creek in Franklin County where some officers actually shot my grandfather and his brother, Forrest, um, when they were trying to transport some liquor across the county. Set fire to run, boy! Since colonial period, there's a long-standing tradition of gentlemen farmers and poor farmers making their own liquor, and Franklin County was sort of an ideal location for moonshine. Wherever you could hide, that's where you would find a lot of liquor, and in West Virginia, you could hide quite easily. You know, at the time, all they had was their skill and their skills, at least for this family, uh, was making liquor. In Franklin County, if you wanted to make any kind of extra money, uh, there were a few possibilities. The more you talked to the people that were involved in bootlegging, they were all good people. They were just trying to get by with a couple bags of sugar. and You could make a product that you could sell. The problem came with prohibition, and the fact that liquor was suddenly made illegal wasn't going to stop them. If anything, they just found an opportunity to actually make a lot of money out of it. When prohibition comes into effect, it had a kind of unusual impact because suddenly there was more demand for the liquor they were producing. Prices went up, so money became better, and, and more people started making it. And uh, it was sort of high times for Franklin County. This area became the new gold rush and a lot of people moved into West Virginia on top of uh, the Bondurants. People weren't allowed to make alcohol or drink publicly, etc. So this whole idea of an underground society, I think, really kind of took off. And clearly, you know, the black market and the underground still exist to this day. <laughs> Prohibition created the biggest crime wave in history at that time. There was such an appetite there that the street thugs in the big cities moved up a notch like Capone and literally overnight they became powerful mobsters in terms of the control of who was going to distribute and sell the liquor. Action! This family, the Bondurants, were spearheading this rebellion in the 30s. Midnight run down a cold art road fascinating time in American history. And it's all based on a true story, which makes it even more remarkable. Oh, 